How important is it to you? You can put yourself in such a great position. Why not? So now your mind has shifted about everything, it sounds like. I feel like people say that until they get older and they be like, bruh. But you still don't have the same responsibility. I honestly have more things to do, so I can't just spend all day talking to you. You got to do stuff you don't want to do. I can do that. Easy. Kids don't be liking to hear that. Why not? It's the better bad, but it's like, <laughs> oh my God. Hi, I'm Nay, and this is Nay's Place, a safe space for real conversation. Today, I'm here with my dad. Yeah? And I don't even know. We're probably going to talk about some something. something. Before we talk about something, we want to tell them about our YouTube channels. You want to tell them, or you want me to tell them? Our YouTube channels? The yes. different YouTube channels? Yes. Okay, we have um, Rajay X Shy. Yeah. RXS Entertainment. Yeah. And what's yours? And mine is Leah Renee. Yes. So we need y'all to go subscribe to these channels. Hit the bell notification so you know when we upload videos. All channels are going to be uploading videos frequently. Mm -hmm. We haven't figured out the schedule, but we know it will be frequently. Okay. So now that we got that out the way, I have a question for you. Okay. What is the worst thing about being a kid? <laughs> he said we, how he felt yes but i think probably not having the independence that you want like you can't like just go places or stuff like that you have to ask your parents and if they say no you just can't go and it's like bro it's like bro i wish i had a car was like <laughs> yeah and, well i feel like i feel like people say that until they get older and they be like bro i was a kid <laughs> So you be you be wishing you had you want a car right now? No. <laughs> <laughs> I just want me a little personal driver, which I already have technically. Uh, if you want to be for real, technically. I so do. so you wish you had you wish you had more independence where you could just do the stuff you want to do whenever you want to do it. Not really, just like go places. Like to the store. Like if you want some chips, you wish you could just go to the get the chips. Yeah, like I could just like go to a store like just leave but you know like can i go no dang, dang like, you can't i want my chips man <laughs> like, your chips is really finna hit <laughs> but i think yeah i think that's probably the hardest part what's the best part about being a kid you a kid <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gotta pay no bills yeah you ain't gotta do all of that unless you like either like entrepreneur and you yeah. gotta work still yeah. it's no difference but <laughs> but you still don't have the same responsibilities right. like being a kid you don't have to be like responsible for adult type things right which leads me into a certain conversation even though children don't have to be responsible for adult like things it is important that us as parents teach them how to be responsible in general so that when they get older it's in them to be responsible like doing this like you want to tell them what happened what happened about our talk oh sure we could tell them a little bit so we were talking about doing this podcast yeah. and we were talking about different stuff that nay wants and doesn't want to do and i was basically telling her like as a parent there's certain stuff that I have to require you to do whether you want to or not because it's a part of your self development. And um y'all don't be liking that. Kids don't be liking to hear that. Why not? I mean, cuz it's like, I don't know. When you get two kind of it's like say you get two choices and it's one is like one is real bad and one is just kind of bad. One is bad, but it's like, bro, it's the better bad. It's the better bad, but it's like, oh my God, I don't, I want to be able to do what I want to do, but like, I want to be able to do what I want to do, which requires that. Uh huh. But if I don't do what requires to have fun, I'm not going to be able to have fun. Right. So it's like. You got to do it. And like, so stuff like chores, stuff like cleaning your room, stuff like doing your homework. Y'all don't like to do that. But when you get in the habit of doing those things, it makes you a responsible human being. 
And that's what it's supposed to be about. Like, think about it. If parents let kids do whatever they want, they will never do their homework. They will have dirty rooms mm-hmm. and they will eat candy all day, every day. And then that'll just be it. So then if we don't step in to teach y'all, those behaviors don't change. You just start making older people choices with the same type of behavior. Hmm. So that's why we do that. Because we got to make you structured now so that you'll be structured later. Hmm. And even though you don't understand it, you're not going, as a child, you're not going to understand it simply because you have the mind of a child. Okay. That makes sense. Do you feel like, do you feel like a child, do you feel like kids out there can be disciplined and responsible on their own? Uh, it depends on what it is okay explain like like your child say your child washing their clothes mm-hmm. they is not they they more than likely unless they just oh my bad unless they just do it a lot to the point where it's like that's just easy they're not they're probably not gonna be able to like get that done like easier mm-hmm. i would say washing dishes but uh, I can do that easy. Yeah. Even if even if you don't want to, you can do it easy. Right. Um but what was the question again? So I can get better. I said, can kid do you think kids can be responsible or make the decision to be responsible on their own? Yes, they could, honestly. Do you think it's do you think it's something that is based on them wanting to just be responsible or you think they have to like it to do it? Like with you, do you have to like something before you do it? Yes. To to fully do it and like actually be able to like do it without any problems or like want to do it. <laughs> yes, I'll have to like it. But like 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 it like like it to actually want to do it like fully. But if I don't like it and I do it, it'll it'll probably not be my best work or mm-hmm. it won't be how I would have done it if I liked it. Yes. Do you know that sometimes, though, in life in general, which is why parents are like making sure their chi- children are straight is because sometimes you got to do stuff you don't want to do. Mm-hmm. Like um, I'll give you an example. I've never been in the military or nothing like that, but I've seen like movies and stuff and like they have to get up at a certain time. They all got to eat the same food. They all got to train. They got to learn and they have a regimen every day like and if you leave the house and you're not used to that, them first couple of days is tough. Them first couple of weeks, I could, I would imagine is really tough. And it's because they're conditioning you and preparing you for war. Right. And you got to be on your A game. You got to be mentally there. You got to understand your job. You got to be able to follow leadership and protocol because you can get killed. Mm. In the same way in life. Life can kill you if I don't prepare you for it. Like you won't literally die, but you may financially die. You may emotionally die because I didn't prepare you. So I have to make you do stuff you don't want to do because it's in your best interest. Okay. And then later on, you'll be like, boy, my dad looked out for me. Mm -hmm. I hated that he told me to do this every day, but boy, I'm glad he told me. What you think? I think I think that I think that that's true. I feel like yeah, you do you do have to do things that you don't want to do probably on a regular daily basis, even mm. if you like don't want to do it. You still have to do it. Yes. Because it'll it'll be better if you do. Yes. And I know I know I notice another thing like when it comes to a lot of kids like kids don't like to be treated like kids, but they act like kids. Which is why you treat it like a kid. (laughs) Like, if you don't want me to always tell you to clean your room, then the solution to that is to clean it. Right. (laughs) If you don't want to be told to wash the dishes, the way to not be told to wash the dishes is to wash them before you're ever told. But you don't want to do that. But if I don't make you do those things, then where the discipline going to come from? Right. Uh, That's, yeah. So, do you... Do you ever like talk to your friends about like y'all we need to be more disciplined or we need to fix our work ethic or we need to tighten up or do y'all just be chilling? Honestly, now I don't really have friends. Ooh, why not? 
by choice. Most of them, most of them that I had went to a school that I used to go to. But honestly, I was like, what's the point of associating with them? I'm not going to see them outside of school unless mm. I just decide to go somewhere with them one day, which wasn't like that's not going to happen. But um, I don't really have a lot of friends anymore. I probably only talk to two people on a regular daily basis. And the main person that I used to talk to every day, I don't really talk to them much. Roger, the way you say it. And I get to work and um, I call my sister and I said, well, I, I can't reach Terrence. And she said, well, you need to call, you know, call the police. I said, well, I don't want to call the police. I just can't. He's just not answering. She said, well, I'm going to call him. And if he doesn't answer, I'm going to call the police. So she never called me back. She sent me a text. And the text said, um, breaking news and an unidentified African-American male has been found dead in a hit and run. And that was it. And it just said breaking news. If you enjoyed this clip and would like to enjoy more, search the RXS podcast on Apple Podcasts and Spotify Podcast, or watch the RXS podcast on RXS Entertainment YouTube channel. Do you feel a difference in your life from not having all those friends? I feel like, um, I don't feel like it's like I have a different in life from not having friends I feel like once I started to do stuff with life like rather than just talking to talking to them Mm -hmm. I just kind of stopped talking to them and it wasn't really like a oh uh, we're just not friends anymore it's just like I I honestly have more things to do so I can't just spend all day talking to you yeah so did you used to did you used to enjoy spend all day talking to them honestly yes Okay. Well, I used to thought that was a life. Well, I used to be like, oh yeah, today's gonna be fun. We're gonna talk all day, be on the phone all day. But it's like, there's no point. Most most of I'll do is probably talk to a couple of friends and then talk to my business partner. And that's probably yeah. It. Now that that's fire too. How yeah. do you feel about that? What the business partner? Oh, my business partner. She she's really amazing. I I really really appreciate her. Like she she helps me with everything like my lives and also when it comes down to doing stuff for content, she helps me with my schedule and. and so I want to ask you something mm-hmm. because this makes a difference. Um, now that you have met her, mm-hmm. did she change the way you look at work? Yes. How? No, cause it's like even when I talk to her, um. She told me about the things she like the things she has going on. Like she got she has swimming swimming lessons at like early in the morning. Her parents are straight. Like she can't go to her friends' friends' houses. They can't come to her house. Um, also, um, like her family's early birds. Everybody wakes up early and they get their day started. And I was like, okay, cool. So, cause we had a whole me and you had a whole conversation about structure and stuff. And I told her like, hey, we be letting you do stuff. And other parents, they be strict and tight on schedules so that kids can grow. And it's good that you talk to somebody like that. So now you got somebody to relate to. and then, But you're excited. I could tell by the way you smile and that you feel different about it. What made you feel different? It was because like when I talked to her, when I first talked to her, I was like, ooh, I kind of mess with her. And I was like, okay. I was like, well, text me probably, right? So I made her my I made her my mod and now like she helps me with all types of stuff and yeah. then we talked further and we became cool so now we're really close and she she's really cool and she just has I feel like she has a good personality and it's like mm. even though she does have a lot because she got the same things I have and all that it's not like draining to talk to her it's like actually fun to talk to yeah. her yeah so I want to ask you something because um. You just talked about friends that you used to talk to all the time that you don't talk to anymore. Mm -hmm. And now you're talking to a friend who's helping you with your content and her mom and dad has her on a um, strict schedule. Do how important is it? Do you how important is it to you based on what you learned to have like minded friends? I think it's very important. Because then it's like if you if you went from like friends that just I don't I don't even know to like 
like like minded friends, it gives you a whole different perspective on life and how to do things. Mm. And so that's how it was for me. Like work, I used to be like, oh my God, I don't want to do that. But then I started talking to her like literally a few days ago and I was like, okay, this is kind of fun. Mm. How, what about talking to her changed? What changed your mind? Cause it was like the way she does things. It was like, we had a whole set. We had a system for everything. And it was like, I like this. And it was like, it was like, I had structure, but it was like, it wasn't draining. It was like, I like it. Cause we literally, we have notes and I think I'm gonna probably get me like a what's I'm gonna probably like wait for my birthday and I'm gonna give me a what's the name board where you could put the stuff on it. Ooh. I'm gonna give me one of them. So now your mind has shifted about everything, it sounds like. Yeah. Why you say it slow? Cause Cause what? Yeah. 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 Do you feel good about it? I do. So why did you not feel good about it at first? Because I didn't want to do the work. Ooh. I didn't want to do the work because like like who wants I was like bro my mom was like who wants to work in the summer especially when I'm in school and then I'm gonna probably be working while I'm in school and it's like bro summer break is the main break and I was like I don't want to do work on summer like that's so lame but it's like why not because it's fun like it's fun <laughs> it's fun yes it's like it's like even though it's work it's still like kind of having a structure and being like i have a schedule and i'm working like <laughs> who you know like this at my age yeah. like it, it's like it's just yes. like that's cool and it's setting you up that this is the thing i want to encourage all the kids that are watching like it sets you up for your future and Parents think far down the road and kids think about today. It's our responsibility to make sure that in one year, five years, 10 years, you're okay. Mm -hmm. Sometimes y'all going to want to do stuff that are only good for today, right. like eat candy. Right. But if all your teeth fall out, if I let you do what you want to do, all your teeth going to fall out. Right. Literally. So I, it is better for me to tell you no about the candy and you have an attitude but you keep your teeth <laughs> <laughs> i'd rather you keep your teeth than be happy that i'm then that you get to eat candy and that's just what parents have to do like we're not doing it to be mean we're doing it to protect you and we're doing it to secure a future for you and sometimes you guys are going to understand it Sometimes you guys are not going to understand it, but it's still our job as y'all parents to make sure y'all straight. And with Nay, I've seen a lot of gifts. She has multiple gifts and talents. And I told her like, hey, man, it's time to start nurturing those and showing the world and preparing for the future so that once mm -hmm. you become an adult, you can have any options you want to. And she looked at me like, I don't feel like doing all that. And then she met a like minded person that made her see like, no, nah, this is actually dope. Yeah, cause even even with her, she was like, she was like, well, we could play Roblox. I was like, I was like, okay, I, I'm better now. She was like, we could. Play, you, she was like, you want to play Roblox? I was like, I would, but I'm trying to get all this down. I'm trying to do my. I'm trying to work. She was like, okay, well, um, I can help you. What What are you doing? And I was like, I was like, okay, so basically, I'm trying to get all like a whole bunch of songs and stuff. She was like, okay, bet. So what she did was. She helped me. She said what she did was she put them all together, like all with the same artists and stuff like that. And she was like, um, well, you can make videos three or four times a day. And if you do that, you'll get all of them done. So instead of saying you lame for not wanting to play Roblox, she said, what you doing so I can help? Yes. Those are the kind of friends you want, man. Yeah. Like. And you are, you have, your, gen your energy has genuinely changed. <laughs> what up, y'all? I'm Rajay. And I want to say first, thank y'all for the support. Thank y'all for the love. And thank y'all for watching and listening to this podcast. We really don't take it for granted. Hey, if y'all want to continue to support us by spending y'all money, I got a way for y'all to do that. Y'all go to rajxshaw.com and pick up that make it happen hoodie today life be crazy but we still gotta do what make it happen gang if you had to speak to a teenager out there who is in a situation where they don't feel like stepping up 
and they feel annoyed with what their parents are asking them to do, what would you say to them? I would I would say um I would say like you see how a whole bunch of different people are like Kaisenet. Mm. Literally, he he started making a whole bunch of funny videos and stuff, and he kept working, even though people would be like, "Oh man, like he didn't do nothing." He's been doing that since like oh he been doing that for a long time, and it's just like that could be you. Yeah. And I know, and I know people would be like, "Like that's too much work and stuff," but it's like honestly, it's really not. If you mm-hmm. think of if. It'll be that if you think of it as that. But if you don't, it won't be like that. Yes. And I feel like you can put yourself in such a great position. Why not? Yes. So we want to encourage all kids and all parents to like work together. Like kids, y'all be giving y'all parents a hard time. They just trying to look out for y'all. And y'all just like got attitudes for no reason. Like don't don't be lazy. Um, if you have a gift, if you have a talent, use it. If you got chores to do, just do them. Right. Because if you just go ahead and get it out the way, you can have the rest of your day and you won't have to hear your parents fussing. Right. You can set yourself up where you never hear them fuss. They only fuss and they only say stuff over and over because you don't do it the first time. Right. <laughs> especially when, especially when you see someone doing what you know that you can do and you're like, bro, I could have did that. And it's like you don't want to wait till it's too late, and then somebody else doing it, and then you do it. It's like, oh, they trying to copy them. It's like, go ahead and do it if you yeah. really want to do that. Go ahead and do it. So, so there are pros and cons to being a kid, but yeah. what you can do is maximize it. You can like make the best of being a kid, so that when you're an adult, you can make the best of that. Or if you want to seem mature, just do the work and show your parents, and then they might they might be like. I mean, if you can do mature things, maybe like work and actually do what mature people would do. Maybe you can have the benefits of a mature person. Ooh. So, I don't know. That's what I'm doing. Cause yeah. shoot, <laughs> I don't know what y'all. But that's what I try to do. Yeah. But I feel like I feel like honestly, it's really fun. Yes. And it's it's good. It's good for you, anyways, because yeah. you'll be able to. Even if that's not what you want to do now, even if you do something that you don't want to do now, further along the road or like further down, you'll be able to do what you actually want to do because you already started and yes. you built something. So, yes, I think that just just try, just try, just try. And if you try, try your best, because even if you try and you kind of half do it, it's not going to give the same effect as if you did it like Put the same like just put all the energy that you can into it, cause then once you get older and you like, bro, I became a multi millionaire. If I never did that, I would have never done it. You're gonna be like, yeah, I'm yeah. glad I did that. Yes, this has been a great conversation. It has, and I hope people, I hope the kids learn from it, cause you guys are amazing people, and your parents love you, and they just want to see what's best for you. So, y'all go out there and get it. Right. This has been another episode of Nay's Place. Mm-hmm. Peace. Peace.